Good morning, everybody. Well, as you saw in la well, the little bit of video that I did take with the drone, uh, the Jubilee got one heck of a workout, and so did the uh, so did the old disc. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the uh, with the Alice, but I couldn't get it to start. I think one of the battery cables is a little bit corroded. But not the biggest problem. We can take care of it later, uh, get it fixed up. And, uh, yeah, here is the new tractor right here. Uh, went ahead and got a uh, front loader for it and everything. It is ready to rock and roll. But this morning, we need to get some stuff done here. We're going to take the Jubilee and get it put away and first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash it off because man does it need a wash job after yesterday it's pretty bad pretty bad so let's grab the washer here clean this off wow that was yeah it was it was pretty rough that water well that land down there was just as dusty as ever you'd think it wouldn't be after all that rain that we had but it, man it really was there that's looking pretty darn good okay let's get this cleaned off the old international came through in a clench here uh, I really had to get that land uh, worked before we had that rain coming I wanted to make sure it was done yeah it's getting pretty worn in it Okay, put that away. Hop in here and we're going to just uh, put this old international over here and then bring the Ford back around. Kind of where it was. Ooh, boy, that thing's really getting bad, isn't it? Uh, I knew it was bad. I just didn't know it was that bad. But it's all right. For no more than it gets used, it'll be okay. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just park this in the shed here. Won't be needing it tonight. There we go. Alrighty. For today, excuse me. Ah, it's still morning. I'm still drinking my coffee and getting everything organized, so... We'll get into the new tractor, and uh, we're going to get some mowing done first thing this morning. That, uh, that kind of seems to be the big M.O. here is we've got to get some mowing done. So we're going to hook up to our mower. Let's see. We're going to use the new tractor, too. Okay. Hook up to our mower and we'll get down to the field. Alrighty, here we are back down at the field. We'll get this unfolded here. And as you can see, man, it has, uh, our grass has grown amazingly. Uh, very impressed by it. Get this turned on and we're just going to turn right in here and we'll start cutting. I'm going to cut it right up against the field here. Um, I don't see any reason why not to. All this looks like it's going to be extremely good. Um, yeah, high quality yield. Uh, I, I, I'm surprised, being it's November, that we're getting a cut out of this grass. But... I suppose it's possible. I don't see why we, we wouldn't be able to. Uh, there isn't anything keeping us from being able to actually get a good stand out of this grass. Oh, I'm not used to this. <laughs> this got a tighter turning radius than any of the other things that we've had before. And it is really good. I mean, really good. Uh, 
And we're, like I said, we're just going to get right up against it here. We want as much of this as we can get. This is going to be uh, kind of like a winter payment. We're going to turn all of this into silage. Uh, or at least that's the plan, is uh, wrap it up and bale it up and call it good. Well, bale it up, wrap it up. But y'all know what I mean. So, so far, this has turned out, um, I, I'm impressed. This was a good call on my behalf to plant this to grass for as good of a grass field as it has become. And we'll just go ahead and get all this along the edge. Little weed mixed in there from the stuff along the path won't hurt nothing either. And what we might do is cut some of these grass areas around the field. I mean, they're, they're getting pretty pretty good um, I did get a f phone call from the dealer they do have a new slash used combine that has come in um, it it came from one of their other dealerships and he wants me to come look at it and I said well I've got some stuff to do this morning but I'll, I'll come look at it afterwards uh-oh. Oh, we're going to have to hurry. The rain is back in the forecast. Let's have a look here in the sky and see real quick. Where's that rain supposed to come from? Well, it's still clear, so let's, uh, let's just get this going. We are going to have to hurry now. May not even get a chance to go look at that... Uh, may not even get a chance to go look at that combine they had. Uh, at least if it starts raining, we will. But I really, if it rains, we're going to have to turn all of this to hay. We're going to have to tet it, dry it, let it sit, dry, and, you know, hopefully we can salvage it before it starts to rot away. I, I, man, that'd be terrible. But anyway, I'm going to cut right now, and uh, we'll see you all in a few moments. I might have got a little ambitious with this here and really went to town. Uh, there's probably more I could cut, but I'd better stop where I was. But I did clean up around our fields, make them look a little bit nicer. 
But boy, do we have a lot of grass. This should bring us a decent amount of money and in income, uh, which is something we really truly need. But, um, you know, I think we got time. Let's go over and look at that combine at the dealership real quick and uh, just talk to them about, see what they're going to be asking for it. Um, he did say it's a big combine. I mean, a big combine. Uh, I'm kind of worried that it's going to be out of our price range. So, yeah, we'll look at it, see what they say. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, a little grass stuck in my throat there. And we'll see what they say and go from there. But, um, yeah, I guess this thing is huge. All right. I guess we can just pull up right here. That's probably good. Okay, let's go talk to him and find out. Oh, well, I bet that's it down there. Because yeah, unless they got one in here, that's the only combine I see. So, I'll head inside, check with him, and I'll get back with you here in just a minute. See you in a few. Hey, thank you for that information. I'll, uh, I'll go have a look at it, and uh, I'll let you know. Okay, well, that didn't take too long. We'll just take the tractor down there and have a look at it. It's, uh, it is that, uh, that one combine down there. He said it's, it looks expensive, but it's not that expensive. So, we'll run down, have a look at it. Uh, it I mean, it really is. It, it's going to take the majority of our money. Um, but, if it's worth it, well, then it's worth it. Okay. We'll get down here. Boy, look at the size of that header. And there's even lights inside the header. That's cool. Uh, let's see, it's a Claws 890 Lexion. That's, uh, that's one of the cat engine versions. Uh, let's, let's pop this down. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is nice. Oh, it, oh it's even got Ag Leader. Oh, man. This is nice. Let's uh, let's open her up here. Wow. That's that's fantastic. Um, this is probably too much money for us. Too new, really. But look at the visibility. It's amazing. Um, yeah, it's definitely something we're going to have to think about here. I don't know if I want to invest all of my money in that just boom right away. But it's a beautiful combine. I mean, it would certainly work with the land that we have uh, and then expand with us. So, yeah, it's, it's an option. Well, anyway... We will get back in the New Holland here and head back to the house and go get the uh, windrower and get that windrowed up before this rain hits. Um, and like I said, worse comes to worse and it starts raining. We can always go back and ted it and uh, dry it out real good and turn it into hay. May not make as much money, but it'll do us some good in the long run. So... Uh, I'm not terribly worried about it. Let's see here. We'll just get back up here and check it out. But yeah, so far, I think things are looking up. Um, got a real nice, I mean, a lot of grass off of those fields. I'm, I'm deeply impressed by how well they turned out. Uh, I think that's, you know, like I said, it's really going to help us. We need it. Uh, we've just, you know, we've had all these little windfalls. Oh, and I did have him order uh, some new battery cables for the Alice while it was in there. 
I mean, I kind of needed to. Uh, you know, there, there's something that we are going to have to have, so might as well. Might as well just go ahead and get them ordered in. But, yeah, what a beautiful day. Look at them fall colors. That, that's nice. That is beautiful. Anyway, we'll get up here to the farm, hopefully, as quickly as we can. I always forget how far of a drive this is up here. Uh, but, man, is it beautiful to come up here. Uh, that's something else we need to look at, too, is after we get all this done, before the ground freezes, we need to get some of the slurry that's in our uh, holding tank up there and get it spread uh, on as much of the field as we can just to kind of save us a little bit of money. And maybe I can scrape up some more poo from the cattle and uh, see where we go from there. But, yeah. Yeah. Things are looking up. They really are. Uh, and in fact, we may even have, uh, before winter's over, we might even have uh, some more whiskey and uh, other things to... Uh, oh. What? What's going on? Um, this can't be good. 